Hello everyone, Maturo here, and we are finally back with more first impressions of Tropico 5. I've been meaning to get to my second half of the first impressions series for quite some time now. I apologize for that. It's been a long, long time away from the beautiful islands of Tropico. Today, we are going to be trying out multiplayer. Now, multiplayer in Tropico 5 is pretty neat. Uh, I've set it here so that the victory condition is three points. So you can As see you here, know, his map. on the bottom right-hand corner, we have technologies... 5, export meet 3000, and build a library. So whoever can do those first, it's the best 2 out of 3, whoever can get to those first will win the game. So we are going to get started here just like we would in any other match by kowtowing to the British crown and getting as much money as we possibly can because that's kind of important. All right, meat. I know I got to get to meat. That's a fairly easy one to do. So let's get a ranch. Cattle, oh, perfect, look at that. Excellent cattle grazing land. Perfect, beachside ranches. Everyone loves a good beachside ranch. Look at that, boom, that Technological underway. progress is the... Need a library, yes, I do need a library. That will get me a point, perhaps more importantly. Uh, let's see here, it's gonna be education, library, five grand, oof. Early into debt. But I mean, those are the risks you have to take if you wanna win at the game of oppressing your populace. And really, isn't that what it's all about? Now I can't see my opponent here, over here on the other side of the map is my opponent tier 495. Now he's off exploring the island, which is a good thing for him to do. I cannot see past this fog of war for the purposes of building. So if I wanna, you know, slap down some military stuff in his general area, I would have to do so sooner than later. But I can see what he's actually building. So I know he's going for those mass houses. Interesting. He's got a logging camp there, it looks like. All right. Interesting. Oh, so we have some Aztec ruins here. Or some, have some Mayan or Incan. We have some ruins is the point I'm trying to make here. More citizens arrive in Tropico. Do we send any money out? Oh, money would be nice. Money would be real nice. Eh, somewhat. Not too much. But more importantly, we did get the library up and running. Count it. His one Majesty point for us. Wants to exchange. 5,000 logs? Yeah, I should be able to do that. Alright, we have the first point. Now, earlier I said it was best two out of three. I'm seeing here in the bottom here it says one of three and zero three. I may be incorrect in that. It might actually be the first person to three points. In which case, uh, that is that. Oh, there we go. Oh, the crown has sent me money. Thank you, crown. So wonderful of you. Uh, I need ranch upgrades. And farm upgrades. And then mines. Now, I am in my quest to win as quickly as possible here. I have run myself fairly deeply into debt. Which is definitely one of the balances that you have to consider when playing multiplayer. If I rush towards victory, I may bankrupt myself. But if I wait too long, my opponent might beat me to it almost like you have to strategize the building of a colony, but ah, that can't be right. <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm just not doing it insta-win properly. Ah, uh, the meat has been exported! The time. Excellent, one point. The meat has been exported, and that gives us two. If it is indeed a best of three, I've just won. However, if it's the first of three total, then I still gotta Great get news. five technologies. Searching. Excellent. Research continues, and then I think planks for lumber mill will come up next. And then foreman, and that will be the five. Alright, I have some cash now. Let's go see if I can find this gold deposit. Okay, that's iron. That's coal. So where be gold? Ooh, hello. Go have a look there, if you please, right near that not at all ominous looking volcano all right guys I want you to run past this volcano which is steaming and simmering with magma and just so you can find us some gold you know for the good of El Presidente etc 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 I'm sure nobody nobody would object at all, all right, how are we doing on the housing front here Ooh. 
Housing is at 37. Five people homeless. Our research team. That is to say me. All right. Good. We're on three technologies. Looking good. Now, did we find that gold deposit? It is uranium. Uranium? The great volcano of uranium. Oh, how we salute thee. We just discovered the number of times you need. Oh, goody. Lumber mill. Oh, actually, that's good. Lumber mill. That means more money. Very roundabout way of thinking, but it's definitely good. Right. So I want to put this lumber mill away from El Presidente's palace. El Presidente has very delicate hearing. He does not want to hear the lumber mill at all hours of the day and night. What's the housing situation at now? Housing eight homeless. Oh, it just keeps going up. All right, let's. Uh... Ooh, I think the problem here is you don't have enough mansions. That's clearly the problem with Tropico. Not enough mansions. Oh, looks much better already. Much better. Why is the teacher's office all the way over there? Oh well. I sat with three other members of the research. Excellent. That's five technologies. Is that the win? Oh, Project Beal. I do believe, yes, that is three points. And three of three. Uh, I think that's the victory, is it not? I... I feel like I should have just won there. But, uh, okay. I guess we keep going. Yes, and according to my achievement list, I just won that multiplayer game by points, so I'm not sure why it's still going. But, uh, okay then. Let's see, if I get another point here, if I build a plantation for cotton, which I can do right over here. see what happens his majesty watched his bonfire burn with joyful glee he enjoyed the event so much planks. that he decided to hold an even bigger bonfire <laughs> gouge the crown gouge him good that's me on four to three now with my uh my latest success so uh i'm thinking this might be bugged because i clearly have won this game so yeah, not quite sure what to, to make of this here. By all accounts, I should have won this game a while ago, as I am now up four points to none, and I only needed three to win. So there may be some some glitches here in the old uh, multiplayer coding. But uh, if it means I get more chances to uh, flex my might as a presidente. Well, I can hardly turn down that now, can I? Oh yes, we discovered a gold mine finally. I should really do something with that too. I have the newspaper. That puts me on five points. Oh, dear. President! <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, I can proclaim independence. Is he even doing anything over here? It looks like... Not... Well, he's got some farms going on over here. Doesn't look like much is happening. Interesting. So how might I declare? Ah, oh, there it is. His proclaim independence. Is most of me. Thank you very much. All right, I have definitely jumped ahead here. Uh, voting rights, everyone votes. Ahoy there, mateys. This is Captain Lulu, Do -do -do. queen of the seven seas, broadcasting from my piratey bar, the Jolly Roger. Arr. So I think the only sensible thing to do at this point is export chocolate. As always, the answer to everything. Did you know that we have a volcano on our island? Oh yes, I did Once know that. Once again, you have emerged victorious. There we go. Success! After much delay, I have finally been declared victory with an overwhelming five to three, or five out of three score against my opponent, Tyr. 
Uh, it has been an interesting playthrough. The victory conditions didn't seem to trigger right away. Uh, but when it did, hooray, I won. So that's a little bit of how multiplayer works. I like it. You have the option to not just to create a game based on victory points. You can also do it by money, so whatever your treasury value is, or by construction. So the first person to build the aerodrome, the nuclear power plant, the nuclear program, or the space program. So you can uh, you can change the way you win in a bunch of different ways. You can even do a cooperative mode by turning off, um, uh, where is it here, by turning peaceful mode on. Or you can just say no and go to war. <laughs> anyway, that's a little bit of Tropico's multiplayer. Uh, next for Tropico will be my full review for TorontoThumbs.com, so be sure to check that out on the website when it becomes available. Again, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Rotoro's first impressions of Tropical 5 Multiplayer. We'll see you next time.